Blade 2 movie review. The half vampire blade is used to just killing vampires, but when a new breed of vampires known as the Reapers surface, he finds that he has to work with a group of vampires known as the Blood Pack to take care of the Reapers once and for all. Any sequel has to either go in the same direction as the original or try something somewhat different. This one tries something different and basically whether or not you're gonna like this movie depends on how much you like the first one and how much you like this new direction. Where the first one was kind of an action thriller with vampires and horror elements, this is kind of like a monster flick with, you know, vampire killing and action scenes. If you know Guillermo del Toro's movies, you basically know his style. There's, it can be somewhat cheesy, he implements a lot of humor, there's, especially in this film, some anime inspiration. And all in all, you know, it's very much his kind of film. The acting is pretty good, and we again have some characters that really stand out and that you remember. One of them is Reinhardt, and it's really the actor who just completely sells it. Don't remember the name at the moment, but he's the same guy who plays Hellboy. He's a badass in everything he's in. And in this one, he's just... just such a cold bastard of a vampire. We have several other characters. One of the things with this movie is that there are a lot of characters, and I would personally say there are too many. The Blood Pack itself has eight members, and, you know, those aren't the only characters that are in this. You can also debate if the character arcs are necessarily completely well done, but that's not for... no going into detail in this video on that. The action is usually well done. There's still a lot of martial arts and shooting. Blade does have a bit more trouble with taking out the enemies this time because the Reapers are tougher to kill. The music is again just excellent. It's a bit of a mix of hip-hop and electronica, I believe. I'm not an expert on music. And it's just, it's awesome. The soundtrack, soundtrack is worth a buy. The overall plot and some of the dialogue in this is just not completely well written. There were some leaps taken to make sure that the movie came out the way that it did, and I don't know, personally I don't think it all worked out quite well. The movie also had a lot, has a lot of machoism. In general, it's very much a guy film, and if you're not in the mood for that, that much testosterone, it's gonna kind of annoy you, you know? It's gonna get on your nerves. I've reviewed other parts of this series. The links are in the description box. Please rate and comment, and hey, if you like this video, that subscribe button's just waiting for you to click it.